So my boss just called me, our primary application data has gone down. Why don't I look worried? Because I'm not. I can recover this application really easily, and I've tested it before. Let me show you. So I'm inside Compellence Enterprise Manager tool, and what I want to do is test out that the data that I'm currently replicating, that in the event of a disaster, I can get that data back and recover it at my remote site. Now, certainly testing replication is a very important thing to do, and often it's something that's very complicated, and often it's done on weekends. I don't want to work weekends, I want to go in, test this replication right now. What I've done through the Compellence system is I've predefined my disaster recovery site. I'm just going to show you this information here. I have a volume that's currently replicating. And I've selected this volume to map to a server at my remote site when I want to declare a disaster. I just walked through this process for all the volumes I have replicating. It's very easy to do. But now that I've done that, what I want to do is actually test this out. So I'm going to go into Options, Replication Recovery, and Test Active Disaster Recovery Site. So I want to test recovering this volume. Here's the two systems I'm replicating between, my production and my remote site. I'm going to click Next. This is a test, so I'm selecting Test, click Next. I'm going to select the volume or multiple volumes that I want to do my tests for. I'm going to select a volume called Accounting. Click Next here. And what this is doing is it's actually going to go out to the remote system, confirm that everything looks the way it should. It's taking the last replay of that volume that's on the remote system, telling me again it's going to map up to File Server 31. It's exactly what I wanted to do. I'm going to select Start. That volume is being recovered at a remote site, it's being mapped to our remote server, it's ready to go. So I'm now at a position where I can test the recovery for this data. That's all it took in the compelling interface. You can see Fluid Data allows that whole process to be very easy. What I'm going to do is pop open the server manager here, and we'll bring in that volume that I just created. Again, we'll do a rescan, telling our server there's a volume. And our counting volume was one and a half terabytes in size, so here it is, a one and a half terabyte volume showing up here. Gave it the E drive letter for us. Now I'm ready to open up this E drive. In this case, it's some files, but certainly if this was an application such as SQL or Exchange, I could now load that application, verify that the database is intact, and I have just tested the recovery of this application in the middle of the afternoon. My business is up and running, my application's back online, and all my users are back to work.